We're gonna talk really quickly about grading seams. This is not about giving it an A, a B, or a C. This is about cutting, trimming off a little bit of the seam allowance on one of the seams so that they're uneven. It distributes the bulk a little bit. It is a term that comes, a term and a technique that comes from dressmaking and tailoring where you might be using heavier fabrics. It's used a lot in collars and especially in suiting where you would have two layers of wool that if they were both at the same level, that's gonna be pretty thick on that outer ridge Whereas if you've trimmed, especially the underneath layer, they're going to lay better. For seams, for seam allowances in quilting, things like narrow uh, bindings, or narrow bindings, narrow borders, or any place where you've got a lot of seams coming together, this is a technique that will let it lay a little bit better. You can use embroidery scissors, if you have duckbill scissors, applique scissors, this is a really good time to use it because it's not going to catch the fabric. If you're using them in applique, you don't have to hold the fabric up, but for this, because you've got all these seams, it's going to want to lay flat. So you're going to want to use your finger to hold it up just a little bit. With your seam still flat, you're going to lift it up just a little bit and you're going to trim off an eighth of an inch. I go along just a little bit at a time. This is time consuming and yeah you have to be careful when you're cutting the seam itself but the results are always worth it especially for as I said before narrow borders anything sometimes with sashings if you've got narrow sashings where for the look of it, you want your seams to be going in the same direction and maybe they're abutting each other or it's very tight, something like a half inch uh, sashing. Something like this really, really works nicely. I'm making kind of a mess of this because that's what happens when you're trying to do it on camera. Anyways, basically what I've done is trimmed off an eighth of an inch and now when I press it, it's not going to have two layers of fabric that go the same direction. If you know which direction you want to press the seam, press it so that it's the underneath layer. This is one that I'd already trimmed and it is definitely laying a little bit more flat. You might wonder why it wouldn't just be easier to go ahead and press the seam open Pressing seams open works really well, but there are some reasons why you might not want to do it. If you're going to hand quilt this, if you know you're gonna to wanna to be stitching in the ditch, you want that ridge that the seam being pressed in one direction is going to give you. So there are some reasons why you might not want to do that. If you know that you're going to machine quilt this and it's gonna be all over quilting and you wanna take the time to press it open, go for it. It's totally gonna work. If not, grading the seams. It's a good technique.